We got doubles. Let's go doubles with Encore Disable Alakazam. Looks like we're going up against that is a great team. We got Partner Eevee. We have Nidoking, Gyarados, Zapdos. Oh, is that is that freaking Kabutops and a Rapidash? We actually have a very similar kind of idea. We've got the fire type. Uh, you know, got the electric type, got those water types. Very similar idea here, but I think that me having the big fake out advantages is really, really important. I mean, I think Raichu's a great lead. We can Psychic the Nidoking. Uh, we can Thunderbolt and literally everything else. We got fake outs. We got Encores. I think it's a great lead. I think Raichu is solid. Uh, we get nine seconds. I don't think I want to go Aerodactyl, though. I think we're just going to go with the Zam, and I want to see if he sets, like, rocks or something stupid. So we're just going to go with these. Here we go. What do you got, Chief? Never got a chance to say uh, thanks to the real chaos for making it to sub. Yeah, the real chaos will most likely stop by. So they'll always th that guy is so on top of it. I'm sure he's gonna stop by eventually. But you know, do saying thank you is very important. So always say thank you whenever you can, because it doesn't hurt anyone to say thank you. You know, you know, like whenever, especially you know, actually, you know, the time you're supposed to say thank you the most. The time that you're supposed to say thank you more than anything is when you're like at a supermarket, or you're getting, or you're at, you're at like a restaurant or something. Always take the time. To thank those people because they probably don't want to do what they're doing and the fact and like you stopping and being like nice to them and thanking them it doesn't cost you anything to be nice but it makes their day and if it doesn't make their day it makes their day a little bit less shitty if you're genuine you should always strive to do that yo we got, we got the psy spam lead right now <laughs> yo this is like the lele this is like the lele necrozma equivalent of this format, I think I'm just gonna fake out there, and I actually think, uh, I actually think Psychic can, like, one-shot this Rapidash. One of these guys gets one-shot from Psychic. Actually, I think it's, uh, I think it's the other way around. I think you fake out the, uh, Rapidash, and you Psychic the Kabutops. So my friends are on YouTube and Twitch, and now they watch you as well. Yo, that's awesome! That's, that makes me super happy to hear. Always, uh, you know, more friends are always welcome here. I think we've one-shot Kabutops, guys. Do you guys think Kabutops get, gets one-shotted? Do you guys think he gets one-shotted? I didn't want to hit the Rapidash. I think Rapidash has a decent specialty, and I think Rapidash could, like, Drill Run, Mega Horn. That is definitely more of a threat, and now it's with range, within range, I think, for a Psychic. Yo, Poop Mad up, my guy. How's it going? Big damage! Oh, Sash is up on that guy. We get the flinch. Oh, and the Xs are... Who are you hitting? No, into our boy! Oh, that is not great. That is not great. I think I'm going to switch out into... Nothing. I think I'm just gonna protect and just go for. I think I'm just gonna psychic that slot. That kind of sucks, though. Kind of sucks, just a little bit. Here we go. But thank you for stopping by, Poopmatic. How you been? Popping that big protect. I don't want to get aqua jetted. That's not what I'm about. We don't. We don't take those. Mm -mm. Aqua jet. Nah. You can take that somewhere else. You can take that somewhere else. Yo, the Dragonite emotes. You know I love seeing that. Remember, we do outspeed Rapidash. Rapidash is 105. We are 110 on Raichu, so that's pretty good. And Drill Run, he is going right after that Raichu. Remember, I talked about that last turn. Does he get the crit? He does not. Now, you also have to watch out for Quick Attack from Rapidash. Rapidash is a known Quick Attack offender. So we're going to see. How do I get out of this? What do you got in the back? Oh my gosh, that's a potential Mega. If I've ever seen one in my life. I mean, we're just going to Thunderbolt it. I think we're going to Thunderbolt, and I think we actually are just going to Psychic that Rapidash. It'd be cool to get the KO, but this is setting up for a really, really good, like, next turn play. Obviously, that thing's going Mega. Uh, he's doing that to make it so Alakazam can't do anything to it, and our Alakazam can't do anything to it. Maybe we can, like, disable the Waterfall if he, like, does everything incorrectly. So, like, hope it'd be really cool to get this thing off the board. That's really cool. We got it off the board. Yo, Mega Emotes up. It's been a hot minute since we've seen those Mega Emotes fans. That's right. Thunderbolt, can we get a Para? Survey says super effective stab. Para 10%? Oh, para 10%! Yo, you know I take those, chat. You know I take those. Hit me with the big DP! Oh, man, he takes it my mega. Great targeting from that guy. Great targeting, but he is within range for a second Thunderbolt. So we didn't even need the para. Para's not going to play a big role. Let's see. Do I want to fake out user? I think I want to save these two for, like, potential switch-ins. But I am going to send the... I think I am going to send the Kang out right now. So I can, like, fake out to a couple other really unique plays by sending out Kang. It's a lot safer to send out Kang. And I feel since I am in a slight lead right now, I think Kang is a pretty good play. I think Kang is pretty good. Right, give me just one sec. Play now. I always like to space out the sending of my notifications that I'm live. I always like to space it out. Uh, you know, sometimes I'll send it, like, in different Discord channels or, like, 
Twitter and stuff like that. So we can see different people are activated in times. That's the perfect Pokemon I'm trying to target with this. So we are going to go for another big Thunderbolt. All right. That's a Geoni website. They can tell me what nature, ability, and other stuff. Best Pokemon for PvP. I want to do PvP after I beat postgame in Ultra Moon, and I will need to know the best abilities and natures and movesets for Pokemon since you do PvP. Maybe you know something. Yes, I have a video. Is this, does this link work? Does this work? That video right there is the video that will solve all your, your questions for this game right here. But I was talking about... Uh, so how do I even answer this question? So that video is a great resource for the Let's Go games. It's a little bit different for the other formats. But the, the way it works is Pokemon DB will have all of that information on it. You can type in Pokemon Database. It will have all the info you need for everything. It shows every move every Pokemon gets, uh, how to get the moves, all their potential natures. But as you're looking for a website that shows what is best, and I, I've been talking a lot in my Discord recently about how you should not blindly follow whatever natures say. Sorry, not natures. You should not blindly follow whatever these these websites say. Look, whoa! Whoa! Enraged Pito coming in using the subway code. 1,000 gives me an extra 100 bits, guys. Remember, every single time you do bits in the months of September, uh, if you do over 10 bits, it gets a 10% boost. So, guys, I, I was grabbing this. I need to get a Butterfree plush so I can have that to hold up for the bitter free emotes. Guys, bitter free emotes up and Rage Potato go going numero uno bit leaderboard for the week. Yo, I know this is the perfect time for you, my guy. How's your day? And we're playing the Let's Go. What's up? That's the start of the stream when I get home from work. I hope all is well. It's going great. So, uh, let's see. What do I actually want to do here? I think I actually want to psychic the uh, Middle King and kind of just let that uh, guy do whatever he wants. Please, please. Actually, I'm a sucker. Yeah, sucker punch plus psychic should kill that guy. Cool, he's not rocks me either. Perfect. So, like I was saying, um, so as far as like websites that like tell you what's good, those are very bad, right? What am I most excited for in Sword and Shield? Ooh. Right, let me answer this question and I'll go back and talk about the website thing. Um, I think I'm most excited for. I don't, I, I think the thing I'm most excited for is actually just, like, so whenever you start, like, a new Pokemon game, like, I just lost, always get starting a money with that stream, yo, this is actually a made-up holiday that I made myself. Where do you get that sub plush? It was a custom-made, no, like, you, they just make these, like, you could just buy them, like, and it's so bright, I know. Let's see, what's that up? <coughs> sorry, sorry. All right, Super Cyber Customization Camp, um... How do, how do I even say this? Like, what am I most excited for? Um, whenever you start, like, a new game, it's always fun, like, trying to, like, build a community. Like, finding like-minded people that want to breed certain things for you, you want to breed certain things for them. Like, stuff like that. Starting new games are always fun. I'm actually really excited to, like, you know, just hit the grind. I'm, like, really, I don't know what I should do here. I'm just going to psychic the EV and go for, like, we're just going to let Raichu go down. I wouldn't really, I, I'm more like, uh, I wouldn't say I'm excited as much as like, I'm very, how do I, how do I word this correctly? Anxious. I'm very anxious because see for you guys, you're like, yeah, new Pokemon game. That's going to be so much fun. I'm like, oh shit, new Pokemon game. I, that means I have to make like 40 new videos, beat the game in like six hours. And like, also I have a regional to go to next week for not that format. So it's a lot of work for me. So I'm anxious. I'm not really excited. Because it's going to be a lot of work. And also, I have to come up with the craziest meme team you've ever seen in your life while doing all of that. So I have to, like, create memes while doing all of those things. Up with this guy. All right, cool. It makes his turn. And then Raichu's going to go down, most likely. Oh, he's hitting the Kang. Wow. All right. I'm not getting Pokken for Christmas. Pokken's like the best game. Pokemon is like the best. Pokken is like one of the best games. It's probably my favorite game on the Switch. So yeah, I'd highly recommend that. Uh, we're going to play some Pokken relatively soon. And it's so much fun. You shouldn't force yourself to beat the game in like six hours for us. So this is like my job. I don't just do this for funsies. Like I, I have to, guys. If I don't do this, I'm in a very not great spot. So... 
you only you only can make like first impressions once so like you have to do your absolute best when new games come out to make like your best content so you got to have like wi-fi battles up the day the game goes you got to have like team building videos up within a couple days you got to have like a bunch of like really really important stuff up at the start of the game like right when the game is active right when the game comes out uh if you want people to notice your channel otherwise you're just gonna get drowned out by all the a drives and the pimp nights and the, the other people to make content for me like i i'll get absolutely like you know overshadowed by like the pokey aims and the a drives and the verlicifies and stuff like that if i don't do my best to make like the best content i can when the game comes out water water wait am i in singles right now am i in singles right now i think i'm in singles right now i'm probably in the singles right now oh, that sucks i'm not supposed to be in singles uh, we'll see if i'm in water we'll see if i'm in singles this is the best lead that i got I don't know if I'm in singles. Oh, that's a double. All right, so he's doubles with all water. All right. I don't see it, though. What are you doing? This is going to be a hard game to win, I think. You went doubles? I mean, yeah, it looks like it. So we have a higher fake out speed turn than he does. I'll show you how we play around this. I want to try this. I want to see if this works. Fake out on the before end. I want to see if he fake outs my right shoe. Oh, I'm so good. And now his now he's, his blaster is his encore in a fake out. You guys see the maximum plays? I haven't touched my other two 3DS games ever since I got Ultra Moon. Now I'm gonna play Pokemon X after the replay. Super Mario Land. Yes, I play Super Mario. Why wouldn't I? I don't. I don't play Mario games. Look at that savage outplay. And now we got that damage right now. You like that? You like that play? That was, that was a pretty good one. It was pretty good. I think you can beat the Vaporeon with this. Psychic and like Mega. Just drop a follow on the Insta. Yo, appreciate it, Chief. He's a drop Oswitz because he has to. You know. He has to. I'm switching in. Alright, that's fine. You like the double Encore lead? By the way, this guy's a good match against me. I have like... I have bad Pokemon that are weak to water. Water types are like by far and away the best, like most defensive type in this game. So they can be a lot of, they can be very problematic. I hope this KOs. I don't know if it does. Holy moly, we take those. That's huge if that KOs because the Forearm is going to be a huge problem. I think it's going to be Gyarados right now. And watch what we do against Gyarados. Sit back, max, relax, act all cool. I'm going to show you something sick. Do it right. I don't want to get Mega Horn by this Lapras. Yeah, it's, there's the Gyarados. Alright. That's I've needed for a six for the six you sent of. Don't know if it's good, but I'll post a pace in this card later. Perfect. Alright. Watch what we do here. This is why this team is good. It's all that I'm doing. I want to show you what I, what do you guys think is going to happen. What do you guys think is going to happen? We protect, we also attack. Pop Twitch, pop. How's it going, friend? So there's a crunch. He was crunching this slot. Big damage. I want to see if he's mega horny. Ice Beam. You've never heard of this. All right, so I can actually eat Ice Beam. Easy peasy. So we're going to fake out that one we're gonna disable the Gyarados's crunch right and then do you guys see the strat y'all see what I'm working with here all right you guys see what's gonna happen let me read this I hate my first half beam team on Pokemon X is stupid I hate Delphox it's a good one Blastoise Swan and Garchomp I mean I wouldn't waste focus sash on like the actual in-game stuff. I think I'm gonna switch this in now. And now what do you think we're doing here? 
Yeah. Watch this savage play. He's like, well, you wanna encore? Now he's encored into a disabled move. Shitty at Thunderbolt. He's encored into so my Alakazam encored his Gyarados into sorry it disabled the crunch and then it encored his Gyarados into a disabled move guys do you understand do you understand how this works the struggle begins you just ignore that thing I think it's actually better to flamethrower than helping hand boost it because like we have two shots for crits here and flamethrower's neutral damage and glasses. I want to see him stay in. Oh, cancel! Oh! Oh, yeah! Oh, man! That's pretty good. Yo, we live in a world where Gyarados loses... Mega Gyarados loses to an Alakazam. Can't do anything. This guy's an amazing team. Uh, Dragonite's great. Charizard's great. Mewtwo, Pikachu, amazing combo. And Executor. This is doubles. So partner Pikachu is absolutely a problem in doubles. How do I want to deal with this? But it doesn't get fake out in this format. I think you have to go Raichu as a leaf. Raichu, well, Kang's also pretty decent. But I think I want to save Kang. I think I'd rather weed Raichu and like save the Kang. Yeah, we're gonna go Raichu. I think we're gonna go Raichu Aerodactyl. And for those of you wondering why I'm playing doubles today, uh, it's just because I have, like, a doubles tournament this weekend in Ultra Sun and Moon, and I didn't want to stream Ultra Sun and Moon, but, like, I wanted to, like, you know, keep the same idea. I wanted to keep my doubles mind sharp. Keep my doubles mind sharp. I have to go now since I got to school very soon. Hope you had a good stream. Thank you for stopping by, my friend. Always a pleasure to have you here. All right, let's see it, yo. Snorlax Dragonite. I'm not as afraid of the Dragonite as I probably should be. I think I'm gonna fake out. See, the thing about it is, like, I could also fake out this Dragonite and then, like, Encore the Lax Speed of something stupid. I think I am gonna do that, actually. I want the Dragonite, like, relatively gone. I don't want Dragonite setting with an agility. That would just be a big problem. I'm gonna go for a Rock Slide. Snorlax would have to be, like, body slamming. I don't care if he Ice Punches our Aerodactyl. That's not a problem. Because we can Encore him into Ice Punch and then Heart Switch and, like, Blastoise. And then, like, Blastoise can just, like, wall the Snorlax forever. So let's go! Fake out, survey says. Making those big connections. Rock Slide. Making even more connections. We that big damage. Put Dragon Amazon Range for a second one. And do we flinch with Snorlax? Survey says. Yawn. So I'm just going to Encore that. This is, uh, that's perfect, yeah. Go for it, Chief. Actually, I should just carry this Dragonite. I'm just gonna switch out and just carry the Dragonite. Uh, do you wanna use Psychic or Thunderbolt? Psychic's better against most of those. Yeah. And we're gonna switch out here. Moveset for Starmie. Uh, any of the mo any of Star movesets I use in my videos are great. The King's kind of a little bit smarter to bring in here. So like, I like uh, Scald, Hydro Pump, Psychic. Thunder Wave. Scald, Hydro Pump, Psychic Thunder Wave. I don't like Ice Beam because you don't need it, and I don't like Thunderbolt because, again, you don't need it. I wonder if he, if he just spams Yawn. If he just spams Yawn, uh, we'll play around it. Headbutt, yo, that's perfectly fine, yo. I mean, it's a lot of damage, but it's fine. I think we might just fake out the new Pokemon. He'll headbutt the Raichu, so we're gonna switch it out for Aerodactyl, and we'll be in a great spot. And if it's a Mewtwo here, he's going to take the Fake Out plus Sucker Punch damage, and we're going to be able to scout if it's Mega. Executor, it's still fine. Um, still fine. Is this Arcanine? <laughs> I didn't even go that far, but whatever. Aerodactyl! And we're just going to Fake Out. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, Snorlax is within the range that, like, I can kind of start KOing it with, like, helping hand moves from, like, Arcanine. There's a few other things I can do that Snorlax, but in reality, like, Snorlax isn't that big of a deal. It's mi it's mildly annoying. He's probably going to yawn my Kang or headbutt the Aerodactyl, which is what I'm thinking he's going to do. Headbutt targeting the Aerodactyl slot, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So now I can go for Air Slash. Not Air Slash. Uh, Wing Attack Facade. 
And we just leave that we just leave that Snorlax up all day every day. And you guys remember a low and eggy is pretty slow. It's not the fastest thing on two legs. And he wants to take a switch. Like, no, he's not. Uh hope I do I'd like to see this KO, even though I know it doesn't. If that got the crit, my facade would have got redirected. I could have went for a rock slide here, but I didn't want to miss the rock slide. And I don't care who he yawns. It does not matter to me who he yawns. If he does, yeah. Yawn, I would like to see him target the Aerodactyl. Yeah. Never lucky. So we're gonna be switching out King. It's better for us to target the King, because now I can just switch it out from the fake out user and protect the Aerodactyl. So that's good for me, but like I wanted to do something a little bit different. So there's the Mewtwo, yeah. We just don't know if he's X or Y, and that's the issue. We're just gonna protect the Aerodactyl. Oh, we're gonna hard switch out here. Uh, we have to switch in Blastoise. I don't really want to switch in Blastoise, but we kind of have to switch Blastoise. And I want to see if it's going X or Y. Yeah, I wanted to, like... I wanted him to hit the Aerodactyl with that. But it's alright. He's going Mega. X or Y, my guy? What do you think? What do you guys think? Y? Perfect. So, Fake Out Crunch should be enough to KO it. And I wonder if he's going to double you on the same target. That'd be pretty raw. Psychic? Never heard of it. No way. Maybe he's headbutting King. Psychic? Yeah, Snorlax! Snorlax with the Psychic! Yo, Snorlax flexing those uh, brain muscles right there. Holy moly. You know what we use Crunch in doubles? Because it's just way better against like Mewtwo's and stuff like that. Uh, it's not guaranteed one shot from Crunch from a Jolly Aerodactyl. So we're going to follow it up with a Fake Out. And then next turn we can go for like Rock Slide Scalds on the Snorlax. Decent damage. Remember, Mewtwo loses defense when he goes Mega Y. And it's, like I said, it's not a guaranteed KO. So that that uh, oh, was a crit. I was like, I was like, I guess we got a little bit lucky on the roll. But like the fake out was actually for the extra additional damage. It was for the big psychic. Never heard of that one. Doesn't get the special T drop. Yo, never lucky. Absolutely never lucky. We'll see, Pikachu's starting to pop off right now. They got one cooldown. I think I'm just gonna go for big damage here. I, I can live the Zippy Zap. On either Pokemon. I've never seen Psychic Snorlax in my life. Yo, I know, right? That's pretty, pretty weird. But I can love a Zippy Zap on both of these Pokemon. Uh, Zap, or what is it? Zippy Zap won't be able to kill Aerodactyl. Or Blastoise. Like, Blastoise is extra thick. Like, we're freaking, bla we're a huge turtle, okay? Modest Snorlax do Meta, like, oh my gosh, Rock Slide. Making the connections. Hitting that Pikachu is absolutely humongous. Potentially flinching the Snorlax. Skull going into the Pikachu. We pick up those big KOs. Survey says, you know what, Chief. You know it. Pikachu has the potential to be so good, guys. Has the potential to be so good. No flinch, yo. That's hacks, right? No flinch, hacks. Hundred percent. Never, never seen a more unlucky uh, turn of events. Charizard, yo, it's okay. Here we go. Rock slide. And a scald onto the lax in case we miss the lax. Because Lax is alright, it's cancelled. Yeah, everyone just scooping today, man. Our team's way too serious for like the standard like triple Pikachu ladder, I feel. But you can't tell me I'm not playing it right.